Well, Ryan claims that he wants to build a friendship with Lauren. But based on what we see, his skill set is in demolition and not building. If I need a house destroyed, I'll probably give him a call. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today, we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 17, episode number 16. Ryan and Lauren on a retreat with couples trying to build a relationship while they're divorced. I don't know about you, but divorced people try to stay as far away from each other until they have a cultural relationship, and that doesn't exist in this case. Yeah, so but, why are they there? Why are they at the retreat? Because I guess they're contractually obligated to do so, oh even though they're divorced. God, someone need to set them free. <laughs> oh, I think Lauren is on well on her way to trying to do that, you know, in a permanent way. Don't seem like Ryan is uh, on the same page, does it? Listen, I don't get Lauren. Lauren claims that she has not spoken to Ryan since Chloe and Michael's wedding. Right. He claimed that he wanted to build a friendship with her. Mm -hmm. So clearly she was salty because she has an expectation that he is going to contact her to get this friendship going. And my question is why? Girl, move on. I'm tired of this, aren't you? <laughs> is she tired of this? That's only part of the uh, part of the picture from my vantage point. It should be, boy, move on, because Orion is trying hard to make something happen out of nothing, and nothing is there for it to happen. Yeah, but this is as dry and as hot and as torturing as if you're in the Sahara Desert. There is no meat on the bone. Do you hear me? There's nothing there. And he And they're trying to pretend like there is something there. Telling her that he wants to build a friendship in the presence of the other couples, but when he's by himself, he does not try to contact her. Tricky. And I I say move on. One lesson I learned from my mother is this. Whenever a man shows you how he feels about you, keep it moving. One foot in front of the other and you'll build momentum. But don't just come back and come back. Let it go. Why would you want to build a friendship with this dude after 10 days and he put his foot on your neck, girl? Let it go. Do you think there's any sense of, like, guilty conscience going on with her, right? I don't care. Yeah. I do not care. And Lauren shouldn't either. Exactly. Because if you know someone is, is going to serve up a plate of ish, why you want to sit down at their table? With forks and napkins with na and knives exactly. and utensils and make you ready to eat. Right. At every meal, you're going to have a plate of ish. So stop. Don't show up for the invite. 